the color of this leotard. It's the turquoise, I think, Daisy. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but um, I love this combo. They have really great tights and leotards, so I'm happy to be doing this class for Sarah Wear today. So let's go ahead and get going. We're going to open up our backs, work on our posture while we're standing, and then we're going to transition down to the mat to work our abdominals and the backs of our legs. So everyone come to a standing position on your mat. A forward bend, curling our back and bringing our arms to first position. So curl your back and then arch and lift the chest, extend the arms behind you. Curl the back forward, arms come to first. This is just to really warm up the back. Make sure you're breathing, bring oxygen to your body. Good. Curl and bend. So I form her like this, moving through that curl, and lift of the back, extending and arching that chest. Good. Nice job, everyone. Two more. So that you see me from above. Last one. Beautiful job, everyone. We're going to take a really wide second position. So heels are a little bit further than right underneath your shoulders here. We're going to take a bend with the right knee and then side bend to the right. Bring this left arm up and over. Nice. And come back to second position with the arms. Bend the left knee and side bend up and over to the left. Good. And come back to second. Bend the right leg. Side bend to the right. And back to center. Beautiful job. Bend the left. Side bend over. Good. Four more like this. Just warming up the body. Bringing new blood flow to the body. And continue to breathe in and out. So you are continuing to bring oxygen to your body as well. Nice, everyone. Two more. Good. Making sure that knee is over your toe when you bend it. Nice job. Now we're going to reach the left arm across, diagonally across the chest, and bend the right knee, and then extend and bend even more. Come back to center. Right arm across the chest to the left. Bend, and then reach and bend further, really twisting that spine, opening up your upper back. Good. Bend the right. Left arm, and then extend and bend a little further. 
I'm back to center. Beautiful drop in the left. Twist that right arm across the chest and then bend and twist a little further. Really spiraling that spine. And reach. Feeling the energy to the tips of your fingertips. Nice job, everyone. And reach. So we're going to do this twice more. Bend the right. Left arm across the chest. Reach. And back to center. Left leg bend. Right arm crosses. Reach and extend. And back to center. Nice job, everyone. Forward fold down. Grab a hold of your right leg. And bend this left knee, feeling the stretch maybe in the lower back and the hamstring of the right leg. Straighten that knee back up, bend it again, and straight. Bend, and straight, bend that left knee one more time. Good, and bring your torso over to your left leg now. Bend the right knee and straighten it back up. Bend and straight, bringing that head towards your left knee. Bend and straighten, and once more like this. Good. Hold on to those elbows and slowly roll through the back, one vertebrae at a time. Good job. Coming to a valley first position. We're going to open up the chest and work the legs a little bit. So we're going to take a first position up with our feet and then rub off. Arms held low in a rounded position. And we're going to take a plie. Open the elbows up. Palms down. Plie, open. And down. Plie, lift the elbows down. Palms are lower than those elbows for four. Nice. Knees over toes. Making sure that torso is right underneath yourself when you take your plie. Chest stays really lifted here, everyone. Good. And this is our last one here. Hold the plie. Lift the palms to come up and down. Keeping your elbow exactly in the same line. Just let that palm move up and down. Nine, two or four. Holding that plie. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice. Bring it back up. Palms up. Straight the knees. Bring the elbows together. Squeezing those arms together. And open the chest. Take your plie. Squeeze the arms. Squeeze the inner thighs. Open and plie. Really extending, presenting yourself when you open those arms. Good. This is four. Using resistance with your movement. We aren't using any weights today, so making sure you're really feeling the resistance to go out with the arms and to go in. Nice job. Two more like this. Out. And in. And hold the plie here. We're going to just pulse the knees. For two. Good. Three. Keep the chest shining up. For four. Five. Pulsing with the knees. Six. Seven. Last one here. Beautiful job. Nice job. Taking a valley second position now. So we're going to go a little wider with the feet. Heels underneath our shoulders. We're going to use our butterfly wings or swan arms, whatever you like to call it. So we're going to lift the elbows up. Plie the knees of the wrist and then squeeze the arms to the back. Triceps are really working here. Lift and squeeze. Good. Lift and squeeze. Elbows kiss. Wrist kiss. Sorry. Wrist kiss here and then the triceps really squeeze at the back. For five. Nice job. Six. Beautiful. Seven. Last one here. Nice. Coming halfway down with that plie, and we're just going to use our arms, little flutters here, really bringing that elbow up first. Nice. This is four, five, starting to really get into those arms now, seven, eight. Now little circles forward, bringing those arms forward. Circles here, giving you a side view. So just little circles for four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Reversing those circles back. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Hold those arms in the valley. Second, and just pulse those knees down. Two, three, good. Really just pulse those knees, making sure they're over your toes. Holding those arms nice and strong in the valley. Second, good. We're going to hold this plie. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Beautiful. Let's take a little stretch of that quad, holding onto your right foot and lifting that left arm really high into the sky. Feeling the stretch on the side.
side body, the front of the quad, a little bit to the hip here. Lift up nice and tall. Good, everyone. And then second side, left leg up, right arm up. Good. But just breathe here, really letting that stretch just go into your body, really lengthening out that leg and um, that left side. Good, everyone. All right. We're going to take a little squat and relevé, but we're also going to add in a calf stretch as well to lengthen out that leg and the muscle. So we're going to take our right leg back, stretch the calf out, lift the chest, shine it into the sky, take a squat. So plie down, parallel legs, hip width distance apart, arms come to first, rise up, plie down. Good. Left leg goes back, stretch the calf, lift the chest, come to parallel, squat, plie, rise, relevé, plie back down. Good. Right leg back, and down to plie. Rise up, feeling the glutes, really fire at the top. Good. This is the second set. Nice job, everyone. Rise, plie. Right leg back, lift the chest, plie. And then squeeze those glutes to the top, keep your abs engaged, left leg, and parallel. Rise up. Beautiful job. Right. Plie. Rise. Plie. Nice job. Left leg. Parallel. Rise. Woo. Keep your balance. Really engage that core. Good. Down. Rise up. Left leg back, parallel, rise up, plie, one more set, right and left everyone, plie down, rise up, plie, left leg back here, parallel plie, rise, plie down, good job, shake out those legs for a minute, really nice, take that right leg, cross it over the left, take a nice stretch, lengthen out that glute muscle, the side leg, and then left leg crosses over, take your stretch. Nice job, everyone. We're going to take our right leg back into a lunge position, so we're going to be up on the toes of that back leg, the back foot. We're going to take a lunge here, bring our arms forward, and circle them back. So we feel that stretch in the front of the head, forward and back. Good. Arms come forward. Back. One more time. Forward. And back here. Nice job. Taking that knee down and up. Now you don't need to touch your mat all the way. Just come down a little bit and then just straighten those knees back up. Good. For four. Five. Nice. Six. Two more like this. Good job. Last one. I'm in full lunge, bring those arms up, and then open them side. Arms down, up, side, two more times, down, up, to the side, last one, up, and arms side, beautiful job. Shake out that left leg, and let's go straight to the other side, so our left leg will now be the back leg, and we're going to be on the toes of that foot, right leg front, planted flat into our mat. We're going to just take a um, lunge position, and just bend forward with the arms, and open, so circling those arms forward, and open it out, back leg straight here, we're just up on, propping on, on the toes of the back foot, open, last one, Arms forward, and open, nice, bring the knee down, and up, so you don't have to go all the way down on that mat, just go down to where that knee is hovering, good, for three, really trying to stay nice and stable in your core, for five, good, six, beautiful, seven, and we'll have one more, and we're going to pulse this lunge position, and open them side. Bring your arms down, up, open side, down, up. Good. Last one here. Arms go down and they come up. Beautiful job. Shaking out that right leg. Woo, beautiful. We're now going.
going to take a lunge to the side. So we're going to bend this right knee and lunge side. Bring your arms just sort of into a second position, but those hand, those palms will be down. So we're going to take a plie on the right and then come up to a passe parallel position. Left leg is our standing leg here. Plie on the right. So those glutes are going to hinge back here. Plie. Lunge, lift. Really lifting nice and tall. Feeling the glutes at the top. Lunge. And lift. Beautiful job. For three. Nice. Four. Keep breathing. Five. Good. For six. Seven. Nice. And this is our last one here. We're going to keep it up in passe. We're going to hinge that back leg behind us, bring our upper body forward, and then come to passe parallel again. So this is a stabilization exercise. The back leg does not have to be very high. Just bring it behind you, and then up to passe. Really using your core here. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead and grab a chair or whatever you have nearby. And we have four more after this set. Trying to lengthen that back knee out. Leg, standing leg is parallel here. Good. This is six. Two more sets. Lifting nice and tall at the top in that posse. Good. And this is our last one. Nice job. Sticking that left leg cross it over your right to lengthen out that glute muscle. That's a hard one. It really challenges your balance and works all those little stabilizer muscles on that standing leg. You really feel it on that standing leg loop. So let's go to the other side. Bending the left knee, opening the arms, hinging the upper body forward. Glutes go back. Passe parallel lift. Really lift nice and tall on your passe. For three. This is four. Two more, seven, beautiful, last one. Hold yourself up in that posture. I'm going to turn the diagonally a little bit so you can see me better. And then bring your upper body forward, left leg goes back. And then come back to your posture. Left leg back, really challenging that balance. And then back to posture parallel. Nice. Standing leg is parallel once again. Bend that standing knee when that left leg goes behind you. But we have four more sets. Deep breathing, arms go back with that back leg. For three. Two. Last one. Nice job. Taking that right leg and cross it over the left. Lengthen out that glute muscle. Really, really nice, everyone. All right, we're going to take a seated position on our mats now. So, sitting down. We're going to slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. So, rolling through that back, starting with a low back, arms in a ballet first. Lowering down nice and slow. Arms will come overhead. Up to tabletop and just tap the right toes down and left. Really engaging the core. If you want to make it easier for yourself, bring those arms to first position. Just make sure that lower abdominal, because your lower abdominals are nice and engaged. They're not pooching up when the toe goes down. Good. Keep that tapping going. Neutral spine. Right and left, and once more. Good. Now tap both toes down, lifting the arms overhead, and bring everything together. Tap the toes, bring the arms overhead, bring it together. Good. For three. Good. This is four.
really curling it in. Now we're going to bring the head up. Tap down, arms go overhead, curl the head in. So everything's coming in. Head looking at your belly button for three. Good, four, starting to feel the burn. Five. Actually bring those feet together, inner thighs really squeezing together, and we're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, keeping your hands and arms pressing into the mat, and lower it down. Really squeezing the inner thighs like glutes at the top. Good. Two more like this, nice and slow, controlled. Try to keep your chest nice and just drop into that mat. Don't let it flare up, keep it down. Last one. You're going to lift the heels up and down. So, demi point position. Keep your hips up and just lift those heels up and down. For four, five, good. Six, seven. Last one. Keep your heels off. So, we're still in our demi point position. Hips stay nice and high. Open those knees out and in. For two, good. Three, don't let the hips drop. Four, five, Seven, last one, good. Lower the heels and then lower the back. One vertebrae at a time. Take a stretch, lifting that right leg up, flexing the foot, maybe grabbing onto your toes or your calf muscle, whatever feels good. And then same with that left leg. Stretch it up straight in front of you. Flex that foot. Nice. We have one more abdominal exercise here. We're going to bring our legs to tabletop and palms will be up, stretching in front of you. We're going to curl our head up to look at our belly button, straighten our legs out, open our legs out and in one time, bend the knees and lower the head. Good. Now we're going to lift and open the legs out and in twice, so two times. Curl the head, straighten the legs, open out and in for one. Back to the legs. Walk the hands back up to plank. Lift the right leg up. 
right leg to arabesque. Now the left leg. And then walk the hands back. Good. Two more times. Walk into your plank. Right leg extends back. Left leg. Straight leg pointed toes. Good. Walk the hands back. Last set here. Walking the hands forward. Right leg extends. Left leg. Good. Bend those knees. Open them wide. And bring those glutes back towards your heels. We're going to thread our right arm through. Twisting that spine. Relax the head down onto your mat. And then open the right arm. And then extend the, the arm into the sky. Twisting your torso to the right. Good. Now just relax forward. Good. Left arm will thread through now. Relaxing the head down on the mat. And then bring that left arm. Twist to the left. Extend the left arm into the side. Good. Stretch everything forward. Press up into your downward dog one more time. And slowly walk those feet towards your hands. Nice and slow. Good. Take a forward bend and just relax here. Maybe just shaking that head. Circling that head. Relaxing the neck. Good. Hold on to your elbows and sway side to side. And then one vertebrae at a time. Roll up nice and slow through the back. Head is the last thing to come up. Nice job, everyone. Let's just take one deep breath in together, breathing in all the energy these exercises gave us so we can go into the rest of our day with strength and energy, bringing our arms up, taking an inhale, and releasing it all out. Exhale. And beautiful job. Thank you all for joining me today. It was a pleasure moving with you all on this. Is it... What day is it? I can never just keep track. But it was wonderful moving with you all and was happy to teach this class for Zerly today. And you can go, my Instagram is pinned below. I teach classes every week and I release a schedule at the beginning of the week. So if you'd like to take more classes with me, um, I would love to see you and for you to join in. Thank you all so much. It's wonderful, wonderful um, that we can connect in this way. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Instagram is pinned below just to let you all know. And um, bye, everyone. Stay healthy and safe.